First time, baby. Woo. Watch out for the teeth. Man. So I'm gonna get in and get some video of Sarah diving with the dolphins. Swim with my first school dolphin. See, look at you can just see the dorsal fin breaking the top of the water. It's so cool to see them because you don't know what they do in the water, you always just see them on top of the water. But what they do is they, they dive all the way down and then they, they pick up at the sand to get some food. We they give them some fish though, they like that. Um, and then they, they roll in the sand and they I don't know if they're working out their food or if they're cleaning themselves. Off? I don't know, but it's so cool. And I got to touch one. <sighs> that was my goal of the whole weekend, was to swim with dolphins. We're in the ocean right now. We just, we drove past a tiger shark, and then um, not too long after that, we saw all these dolphins, and Rob stopped the boat quick, quick and let me get up. Oh my gosh, it's so cool there. They're so graceful. and. And two of them have little ones, and the little ones just stay tucked. See them? They stay tucked under by their mama. And it's so cool to see them. Oh, man, they're just so cool. And they'd come and they'd check you out, and there'd be like five of them all around you, and then they'd they'd turn their belly on you to like get a full look at you. It's unreal. Unreal. Look at them all. See them all? Okay, so Rob's famous last words were, Honey, there's a huge black grouper, grouper down here. And then I just saw him go under, so. Oh my god, yes! Alright y'all, here's the deal. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six hooks on this rig with a light on the top and about a four pound lead. I'm dropping her to the bottom. We're out here in 850 feet of water. 
this is one of the most enjoyable things you can do. Deep dropping. Out here in the deep, we're fishing for queen snapper, uh, yellow eye snapper, mystic grouper, and you gotta have a pretty powerful reel. This is a dolphin electreel. It's built on a Penn International 80 VSW frame. And look, you can look around. There's stains all over our boat. We don't have the fanciest boat in the world. We have to have a boat that just gets it done. And I'm telling y'all, this thing gets it done. It's the Dolphin Electrial. Uh, I've fished anywhere from 500 to 2,000 feet of water with this. And it doesn't matter. All you gotta do, alligator clip it onto your batteries. Got a little toggle switch here and ready to go. This is a 70 pound diamond braid line. Oh, 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 there they are, there they are. Oh, yeah. Bottom on. <laughs> Woo! Now, for you, those of y'all wondering, the fish are 800 feet deep. Now, if you had to reel that by hand, you'd be worn out after reeling it up one time. So, I like using this Dolphin Electrial. Simple, easy, heavy duty, works good. Oh, well, the whole reason his eyes bulge out like that are because the pressures, he's coming up from 800 feet. Now we gotta throw him in the angle cooler, throw him in ice. Open that up real quick. What are you looking for with your bite? Um, the typical fishing thump that everybody talks about. Uh, you, you feel bottom and you can see my rod when it hits bottom, it kind of like hits it and then comes back up. But it's heavy when it hits, just like any other lead sinker that you're going to use. Some will have a hard thump, some will go doo -doo -doo -doo, but you can feel it and you can see it in your rod tip. So there's different ways of telling if you have a fish on. Okay, I'm going to push you. Push your drag forward. Oh, the fish. We put in a good 12 hours today. I got to swim with the dolphins. I saw two billfish jump. Caught my first golden tile. Caught my first barracuda. Saw my first tiger shark. What else? And I didn't get seasick. Woo! Stay on here, boys. Stay on here. Yeah, look at that. Woo! -hoo! Ow. I just got a spine in me. Yeah, look at that. Three yellow eye snapper. Woo! Awesome. Hey, Ow, I just got no, a spine in my finger. The are gonna come All right, so now let me show y'all when we catch these fish, you want to take them off and throw them right into it. We call this a kill brine. It's uh, this is ice and salt water. Submerge your fish in that. And what that does is it instantly kills the fish. So it's very humane. Like right now that fish is like, oh my God, it's freezing cold. Oh, there you go. Put him in here. Yeah. There you go. See how there's three fi three live fish in there, and almost instantly they're dead because it's so cold, and it's going to drop their core temperature as fast as possible. 
Now, once we're done, we're getting ready to run home. We'll gut all these fish, pack them on dry, not dry ice, but not a slush. And uh, they won't beat themselves up sloshing all around. They'll stay nice and cold. Start at the vent, go all the way up through the breastplate there into the neck. Uh, if, if you want, you can take the gills out. That's actually, it helps. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna be flaying these fish tomorrow, but I wanna keep them as good as possible. Now, when I'm done gutting all these, I'll show you how you store fish in ice and they'll last for eight, 10, 12 days, no problem. All these fish that we've already gutted, I'll stack them just like that typically by species, then you know how many you've got. You want to stack them with the stomach cavity down so they don't pull water inside them. They'll stay ice cold, but they won't store water inside them. All right, so I've got the plug open on this cooler, and I'll just dump this drying ice water right on top, and it'll leave the ice on top and the water will drain out the bottom. Honey, what is a brine? A brine is just ice and salt water. The salt creates a chemical reaction and makes the ice actual colder. I can promise y'all, these ingles keep things cold. Uh, now, for those of you who may not have two coolers, if you fill your cooler up, make a nice brine, chill your fish, you can pull them out, gut them, throw them right back in the chill, right back in the brine, and then just pull the plug. And as that water seeps out, those fish will settle in, they'll be covered real nice. Get them filleted as soon as you can, and I promise you, you will be amazed at the quality of your fish. Now. We've got about a 60 mile ride home, and uh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Lord.